Then it's sugar, water, and corn syrup, cooked about a little over 320 degrees. Been cooking for about 45 minutes. I hope so. <laughs> but it's still very, very hot. So yeah. we'll take a temperature and a reading a little bit. But yeah, it does it cool just enough not to run off the table all the way. So otherwise, I put the crossbars on. So same recipe we've been using since 1933, same recipe, same marble slab, same hook on the wall, same stove, same heater. I've not been here quite that long, I got here this morning at about 10. I got run a little late this morning, I got here about 9.55. So this can technically be candy cane or ribbon candy, it's an identical recipe, we're just gonna, once we get to the table, that's where we'll shape it and pull it out a little bit different. But other than that, it's exactly like candy cane, so, so we can change it at any point, either candy cane or ribbon candy. So we're going to make cinnamon ribbon and we're going to do a little bit different. Normally we just do red and white, but we're going to actually do red, white, and pink. So we're going to start by adding a little bit of color to it. So we're going to separate it out a little bit here. So we're going to pull out our red stripe. We're going to do red, white, and pink. So first we'll start with our red stripe. We always try to do the darker colors first. Now, generally, there's only flavor in the white part of the candy cane, but since we're making cinnamon, we've got a very large amount of what's going to be red here. We're actually going to put a little bit of flavor in that as well. And I'm going to break out the big scissors and cut off just a little bit more here. So that's going to be our red stripe there. Or kind of our blank, red blanket, if you will. So I'm going to add just a little bit of red color in here. No flavor whatsoever so far. This is just the color only. And then we'll mix that in for a minute or so here, about a minute and a half or so. Like I said, normally we don't add any flavor to it at all on the stripe, but we are gonna add a little bit of flavor to it this time, just because it is such a large amount of color here. Now the reason we keep stacking this up is it does, we want it to cool, but we also want it to cool evenly. So we'll start to get cooler around the outside edge. So by stacking on itself, it keeps it all the same temperature. That way when we get over the table and start to pull it out, it'll pull out nice and even without any cracked or any breaking spots. So we're just trying to cool it, but we want it to cool slow and kind of evenly. It's starting to turn red here a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna add just a little bit of flavor to this red coloring here. Not much, just a little bit, not even a quarter ounce or less than that even. Just a touch of it. Like that. And then we'll mix that in a little bit more. And then we'll get a little bit of a pink stripe we're gonna do out of here, but then we're gonna do the bulk of this will be the white part of the cane, which is also the main part that's flavored. So with the ribbon candy, just like the candy canes, it's all white in the center, and the striping will just be on the outside edge to give it its coloring. We're just gonna cut off a little bit here for our pink stripe. Coloring. Just a little bit like that. We'll mix it in just like we did the red. Got a pretty good pink going here now. Right, so I've got the pink just about mixed in as well. 
So we'll take that over the heater. We'll keep that one nice and warm. There's our pink all mixed in. And these are some of our different colors here. So now we're adding a little cinnamon to it again. This time I'm gonna add about a third of an ounce. Like that. And we'll mix it in just like we did the colors there. Now, when we turn this white here, we're going to turn it white all naturally. I'll show you how we're going to do that here in just a minute. We're not going to add any color to it to make it turn white. And it has nothing to do with the flavor either. So, if there were, even if there was no flavor at all, it would still turn white. job where I feel very needed. <laughs> Careful, it does happen rather quickly. Here we go. And there it is. What you came for, big giant candy. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm, we're done. Going home. All right, so you might smell a little flavor here in a minute. I'm going to add a little bit more flavor to it here. First, I'm going to Try to add some more flavor to it. And we're going to put it on the hook here and show you how we're going to turn it nice and white. So we're going to just a touch more flavor here. here. All right, so this is how we turn it white here. We're doing a combination of things. Number one, we're adding a little bit of air to it, also, the stretching of the sugar crystal. And that's how we come, that's what makes, makes the candy cane turn nice and white. It just gets a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter with each and every pull. And this one is still very, very hot at this point. So Now we don't count how many times we pull, we just keep pulling until we get a nice bright white. Every batch is slightly different. Some batches take a, uh, some batches get, actually with cinnamon flavor for some reason, it gets white a little bit quicker than some of the other flavors. And I'm not exactly sure why. It does kind of turn white a little bit faster. See how it just turns a little wider with each and every pull. So the whole batch is 20 pounds total weight. I probably only have about 12 pounds on the hook here. And then between the red and the uh, pink over there, they've got it about another eight pounds or so. So of course, this is what we call Jerry's Gym, also known as my holiday health spa. That way I don't have to go to the gym this time of year. All right, so we're getting pretty close here. So just a few more folds, you can see a little bit wider than it started with. And we'll take it over the table and we'll put it all together. So like I said, up to this point is exactly like candy canes, so we can technically still make candy canes out of it. But when we take it over the table, we're gonna shape it a little bit different and that's where we'll make it into ribbon candy instead of candy canes. So one more pull here. And we're gonna take it over the table. Here we go. So we're gonna use some white in our striping. Not too much, but just a little bit. And then instead of doing a square block that we normally would do for the candy canes, we're gonna do kind of a teardrop shape here. So it's just like an almond or like a teardrop like that. A little bit tapered in the front there. And kind of roll the back up like that. And then I'll start to put our stripes together here. So we're gonna do an outside edge stripe of pink. And then we're gonna have a big, the whole thing is gonna be red. And then we'll have some pink stripes down the middle and on the outside edge as well. Okay, so I've got my stripes here lined up a bit. So we're gonna start with our red stripe for the middle. And a little piece of the red we cut off here. And then we're gonna put a little bit of white on there. Because if we mix the white and the pink, or sorry, sorry, the red and the pink together, you kind of get a little bit of a different color. So we wanna definitely keep a pink in there. I'm gonna put a little bit of white on each side of the red here. So it looks kind of like a butterfly there. Then we're gonna take our pink stripe these two. I'm going to put the pink right there, just like that. I'm going to put our other pink one there. Now we have the white behind it, that way you don't lose the color of the pink. And this is going to be the center stripe of the ribbon candy here. See right there, that's going to be our center stripe there. Two pink and a red. Just 
that shut a little bit. Then I have my outside edge stripe, which is going to be the pink stripe. But then we have the big, and I wonder how we're going to turn it all red, but that's what this is for. We're going to wrap the whole thing in a red stripe here. I'm going to make kind of a blanket out of it here. still very very hot. I didn't take the temperature earlier but it's still right around 175, 180 degrees. It's still very very hot. All right so I've got my blanket stretched out here. So now we're going to take our big block here. Nice like that. Put the bicycle seat there. <laughs> we'll put that right on top of the red blanket. We're going to wrap it in red here. All right, we can cheat because our other stripes are going to cover that up right there. So we've got a little bit of a cheat there. Put that back under the heat here while I stretch out my center stripes a little bit. See, we've got our pink there encased in the white, so we keep it nice and pink. And we've got our center stripe, which is the red. So I'm just going to stretch that out here. A little bit of stretching. So we've got it like that. So we're going to take our big block and set it right there. Now I have my stripes on that side of the block. We're going to wrap that right around the top there. So now I've got my stripe on both sides of the block. So we got a little bit, we lost a little white there. So that will blend a little bit, but that should be fine. So we're going to put that back in front of the heater here. And now we're going to work out our, I'll work on our outside edge stripe, or the tip stripe, the little tips on the top of the ribbon candy. And once again, we're going to put a little bit of white there just so that it doesn't blend with the red, otherwise you, get, you don't get the nice pink stripe. Just going to stretch it out here a little bit. Bring my block back into play here. And we're just going to wrap that right around the outside edge there, and hopefully it just sticks right to that edge. Still very hot. Just like that. So now what we have here is either some sort of a turtle shell, maybe a toilet seat cover. I'm not really sure what they're, I'm not sure what I'm doing here, huh? So we're gonna put that back in the heater here, because we do have to keep it nice and warm. Now it's gonna take us about 25, 30 pieces to get our stripe just the way we want to. Scissors here. And we're gonna start to stretch this out here just a little bit. We're going to go ahead and cut you guys some samples that you give it a taste right up front here. So this is a new stripe pattern for us. We've never done this with a pink, white, and red, but I think it's kind of fitting with Valentine's Day coming up here in a few days. So we did have a machine years ago that kind of helped us do the ribboning, and we had some trouble with it over the years. So about 12 or 14 years ago, she said, we have trouble with our little machine. It's a little old-fashioned. In fact, we were on storage wars many years ago, and uh, showing the machine that we have. Anyways, one day as we were having trouble with it, she said, give me one of these pieces, she started doing it by hand. So it's pretty cool looking, so we've been doing it that same way ever since. Mm -hmm. 